Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're heading back into town to try and get some waves. So this is probably going to be the only chance that I get to surf this week. Um, the rest of the week doesn't look too great, but I'm super keen to be going into town, get to surf some of the wedges. If you haven't seen Dave McMaster's clip, go click the link up here or wherever it's going to be and go check that out because that was a crazy clip that he put together of some really, really good conditions. Summertime's on the way, so we're getting ready for that. But for now, we have these two boards. We've spoken about this before, the bat tail. I really want to try this out and get someone filming from the beach. Just to show you guys exactly what that acts like in the water. And then obviously just my normal blue steel. So I'm going to take both boards through and see if we can get some waves that side. Um, hopefully there's a little something that we can ride, even if we have to go ride something a little smaller. And just uh, try out both of these boards in one or two sessions. Um, and see how they go. I am really keen to show you guys the bat tail from the beach side as opposed to from the GoPro side as I think it will really allow you guys to see a lot more on how the board acts and what the difference in riding styles are like when uh, you have the bat tail as opposed to the crescent tail. So that's probably going to be the main focus of today's video and then I will just fully you guys in as we go along. I've got no real plans, no real idea of what's going to happen today so come along and we will probably see you when we're closer to town side. Just got down here in town. Um, I'm gonna take out the bat tail because I think it's gonna be quite a long session. Super interested to see how it works out there. Conditions are looking pretty good. You will see them in a little bit and super am to just get out there, try the bat tail again, see how it goes. Hopefully it's pretty good and this thing's got a lot of speed so i'm excited to serve some bigger conditions and you guys will be able to see what it looks like
That was an epic session in town and I am just so stoked that we are getting some sort of waves. It's kind of in this middle stage of going from winter time into summertime and with that you start to see a lot of shift in sand around the beaches and especially these beaches that we are going to where the wedges are generally in winter time that sand gets washed away and now summertime that sand starts to fill back in so it's been quite a big transition period from winter to summer and it usually takes about a month or two uh, in the springtime where all that sand really starts to fill in and starts to make these waves just that much better let's get on to the bat tail and just talking a little bit about that session that you guys have just seen one of the main factors that I want to bring up is the conditions for that day were extremely difficult. There was a cross shore wind that was creating quite a lot of bump on the surface that you saw in the GoPro footage as well as quite a lot of lumpy sections where you couldn't actually get going fast enough or slow down enough to kind of get into the right place to be on the wave. Uh, the bat tail performed exceptionally well. There were just a few things where I felt the board didn't click as well as I wanted it to. And I think this might be due to the fact that it's very tough in those conditions to take a new board and take a board that hasn't really been broken in and try and ride when it's choppy and it's it just made it a little bit more difficult uh, riding this board. And as it's new, I have not had the chance to ride it in all types of conditions. So that was very new for me and quite a surprise to how the board is acting on the water and although I did get a couple good ramps uh, my hand kept slipping off or I kept hitting a chop on the way down or digging the rail in some places and these are just maybe factors that I'm overthinking my surfing or on top of it it might just be the conditions that were changing and were really difficult to kind of adapt to. In saying this I think that bat tail board has really got something special to it and I'm going to be trying it out more and more so when you guys see it, I'm sure you guys are going to recognize that that's the bat tail and that's just something a little bit different and something I really want to try, especially on the cleaner days and uh, in cleaner conditions when I can really, really try that board out and give it a good go. This is not the end of the, of the bat tail and I'm sure you guys will be super stoked on that one and I'm really looking forward to putting a lot more into the bat tail and into that board and just trying it out and riding it and seeing whether that board can uh, possibly work in different conditions around the world and at certain events. So that's where I'm going to leave the bat tail for now. I just want to thank you guys so much for your support on the merch. I have a goal of selling a certain amount of products before the end of the year and I'm already halfway there which makes me super super stoked. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well as hitting that notification bell to get notified first and I will see you in the next video.